everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have another homeschooling video for you guys today. I'm really excited about it because I'm excited about saving money all the time, all year long, doesn't matter when, but especially right now when so many of us are planning for a new homeschool year and so many people are looking into homeschooling that never have considered it before because of the situation that's going on in the world right now. I know a lot of people's schools have been affected and a lot of people have told me uh, they're not going to send their, their kids back to school in the fall with all of the upheaval that the school systems are in trying to keep everyone safe and healthy they don't want to send their kids back to school wearing masks so they're really new to homeschooling and new to the idea of homeschooling and they have no clue what to do in regard to homeschooling curriculum especially when it comes to saving money so if you already homeschool and you were going to continue homeschooling in the fall then this video will be helpful to you hopefully to see some of the curriculum that we use here in our homeschool that are very budget friendly, but especially if you are new to homeschooling for the first time, whether out of choice or kind of necessity, this video will be really helpful to you to see that you don't have to spend a ton of money to get good quality curriculum for your kids. There are some programs that we use that are a little bit pricey, yes, for sure. Nothing I'm showing you today though is expensive. Every single thing I'm gonna share with you today is $20 or less. And they are things that we are using, have used, and will continue to use for the foreseeable future. So if you want to see my $20 homeschooling top picks, then stay tuned. Okay, so a little bit of a backstory. If you don't know, I have two girls. My oldest is going to be a junior in the fall. My youngest is going to be in fifth grade. My oldest was public schooled, so I did not have to teach her to read. Um, she was public schooled until about the middle of fourth grade. So she knew how to read already when we started homeschooling. My youngest, I was the one responsible for teaching her to read and we did a, use an amazing program called All About Reading. It's not gonna be in this video because it's not $20 or less. It is a great program if you are trying to teach your child to read. I will have it linked for you in the description box. I've done reviews about it before as well. Um, it's a great program, but once we finished that, we really wanted to keep up with the skills that she learned in her reading program and also work on fluency and comprehension. I have two resources that we use uh, and will continue to use and for the foreseeable future for reading practice. So the first thing that we use to really keep reading skills and blends and digraphs and all those things fresh in her mind is the Spectrum Word Study and Phonics Workbook. It's about $10 on Amazon. It's a really, really great workbook. Um, this is grade five. She just finished grade four. I'm not sure. I think there's a grade six. I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure. But if there is, we will definitely get the grade six as well. What I like about this book is it goes over all of the things that your child either has learned or is learning in their reading program. There's a little bit of vocabulary mixed in. You've got um, consonants, blends, silent consonants, vowel sounds, digraphs. Um, the sounds of Y, controlled vowels. Then you've got a little bit of grammar mixed in. You've got plurals, possessive, contractions, prefixes and suffixes, syllables. So this is great for summertime as a good review because it does have a little bit of grammar mixed in. But it's also really great to use all year round to refresh those grammar skills while working on word study. So all of those blends and things like that they learned in their reading program. This is a great workbook for that. For $10, you get so much in this workbook and I love it. And it is very, very affordable. We have loved using this and I really highly recommend it. Also for reading, and this is more for um, comprehension and a little bit of fluency with a little bit of um, nonfiction stuff mixed in, is the Harcourt Reading Skills Workbook. I've talked about this one before too. I love this workbook because there are little reading passages that your child will read here and they will answer questions and do different things based on um, what the story was about. They'll make inferences, what was the main idea, sequence, context, conclusion, uh, facts. So basically you're working on reading comprehension while you're working on these different topics of what was the main idea of this paragraph? What would you infer after reading this paragraph that's gonna happen next? Things like that. That is all in this workbook mixed in with all of these nonfiction stories. So they're learning about a little bit of interesting stuff while they're practicing their reading. So you've got things about lions and mummies, um, windsurfing, yo-yos, dinosaurs. We've used every single one of these books. Um, it does go to grade six. This is the last level of this, I believe. Um, so I think she's still working through grade five. I, do go, I did go ahead and get grade six just because I love it and I knew I was gonna keep using it. So around $10, a little bit less if you catch it on sale. So just a really great workbook overall. 
Great for during the school year, great for the summer. I highly recommend that as well. Okay, for spelling, we've tried several different spelling programs. We tried some of the more expensive ones. We tried some of the more like middle of the road ones. And what I have found for us is a workbook, traditional, like basically you have a list and you memorize it type approach works the best for us. We had a different workbook before this one. It was okay, it worked out fine. Until I found this one, I realized this is exactly what I was looking for. It's around $20 on Amazon and it's just a bare, bare bones, no frills, fancy but effective spelling workbook. This is the grade four. I think we have grade five downstairs as well. What I like about this is like I said, you have a list at the beginning of the week that your child gets and then each day there is a worksheet um, that uses those words in all different ways. Crossword puzzles, writing out sentences, fill in the blank. And so they're practicing their spelling words all week long with these fun little worksheets and then you test on Friday. It's simple. I mean, there's not a whole lot to say about it. There's nothing crazy fancy or elaborate. It's such a traditional basic spelling method and it works really well for us. And for around $20, I just don't think you can beat it. I do have a video about this particular, um, how I teach spelling with this workbook in particular. It's linked for you in my homeschooling playlist if you want to check it out, but pretty much that kind of sums it up. It's a simple workbook, it's a simple approach, it's a traditional approach, and it's very affordable. Same thing with for vocabulary. Um, you don't have to overcomplicate things. You can find something really simple and affordable that works. This is what works for us. This is the Evan Moore Word a Day. This is grade five. Kind of the same concept. You get a couple words for the week, so there are four words for each week. And they have these little cards. Your child can cut them out if you want them to. We um, have one of those words for Monday through Thursday. And then you have a review page here at the end that I always go with, go through with her and then she tests on Friday. Really simple and straightforward. Again, nothing too fancy about it, but it doesn't have to be. You don't have to have crazy elaborate expensive programs for every single subject. You don't really have to have crazy expensive elaborate programs for any subject really. But especially the basics like vocabulary and spelling and things like that, keep it simple, keep it affordable, it works, and there's no reason to spend more money on it if you don't have to. So again, 20 bucks on Amazon, a great, great resource. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna share with you guys is for geography, um, Evan Moore, The Seven Continents. They have a workbook kind of unit study for each continent. We're actually working through North America right now. It looks kind of funny because I bought the PDF. But if you get it on Amazon, it's around $20. Again, it's kind of their, that's their favorite price range, it seems like, with Evan Moore. Um, so mine is printed, obviously. Um, but basically, it is a geography program that goes through not just the geography on a map, but also the cultures that are in that continent, which I think is really interesting. So I know with North America, we're gonna be talking about Day of the Dead, we're talking about Canadian holidays, we're talking about United States holidays, in addition to geography and things like that. So I just think it's a really neat curriculum. We have really enjoyed it so far. So if you're doing a study of North America, or you're studying Antarctica, or you're studying Asia, those workbooks are amazing resources. They are very affordable. I feel like they're really comprehensive, really thorough. And they're interesting. They make geography interesting because you're not just studying maps and populations, but you're also studying the people. You're kind of connecting the people that live in those areas and their culture in addition to geographical information. So highly recommend you guys check into that. I love Evan Moore. Three of the five things that I'm sharing with you guys today are Evan Moore because I think they're a great company. There are other workbooks that they make if you're looking for a really basic kind of a science workbook. They have something I think called daily science where it's like a little snippet of science information and some questions, super simple. If you have a younger kid or maybe you're not putting a big emphasis on science this year, but you do want a little bit of those science facts in your day, they have that program. Um, or if you're new to homeschooling and you feel like I just cannot start like full force on every single subject, maybe focus on the more important subjects like reading and math and keep it kind of simple with things like science or something like that. So. Check into Evan Moore while you're searching for any of these other things that I mentioned because I think they're a great company and I think you guys will like how much how much you can get for such a little cost. So those are my five favorite curriculum resources that we are using and have used for quite some time. And unless something changes, I plan on using them again in the future. They're actually gonna be in my daughter's fifth grade curriculum going forward. I don't know after that, obviously. Um, but definitely for fifth grade, this is our plan for some of these subjects. And I wanted to share it with you guys and encourage you and remind you that all curriculum doesn't have to be expensive. You can put in as much money as you want, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be a, a good fit for your kids. You could spend $500 and your kids might hate it or do really poorly with it. 
Whereas, you know, $20 or less for any of these things, they might be a great fit. So it's a lot of trial and error when picking out curriculum. Some of these things might not work for you as well as they have for us, but I want to throw it out there to give you some suggestions, but also remind you that you don't have to spend a lot of money at all, or at least not on every single subject. So sometimes it's okay to splurge a little bit with certain subjects, but then keep other things simple and affordable. And that's definitely something you will figure out and um, learn as, as you go on through your homeschooling journeys. So I really hope it was helpful. If it was, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'll link all of these things for you in the description box. I'll also link my homeschooling playlist. I highly encourage you guys to check it out. Even if you already homeschool, but especially if you are new to homeschooling and you feel overwhelmed, you don't know what to do, you need some encouragement, definitely check out that playlist because there are tons of videos there about encouragement, my homeschool room tour, organization, budget curriculum, our favorite curriculum, our curriculum choices videos are in there from like every year in the last like six years. So definitely check out that homeschooling playlist. I think it'll be a really good resource for you and I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.